Hello friends, welcome to Online Rip Tutor. I am Sanjay. In this video, we will see an important concept of Laravel and that is all about authentication. Inside Laravel, we have multiple options available to create an authentication system. Like we have Laravel Biz Authentication, Laravel Authentication using Chatstream. But we will discuss the simplest way to create the authentication inside Laravel and that is by using Laravel UI package. This is all about the first part of this video. Inside next part, it means second number video, we'll see the customization of login form and registration form. We have one more request. Please subscribe to this channel so that we can create such of amazing videos, amazing content free for you. So all about the authentication we'll see from scratch. It means first we'll install our level application. Then we'll integrate and create our authentication system. So to install our Laravel application, I will go inside official website that is Laravel.com. Click on documentation. I will search for composer. Now here we have the link means composer command just copy. This is our command. So by using composer, we are creating a project of Laravel and this is all about our startup name. So instead of calling example hyphen app, what we can do here, let's say Laravel hyphen yt hyphen auth. I will copy this composer command back to project terminal. We are inside this yt folder, pasting it here. Now successfully, Laravel has been installed into our local system. If I go inside folder structure, so we can see that here we have level hyphen yt hyphen auth. So I will open this setup into a VS code. You can choose any of the editor. So I will click on this select button. So successfully, I have opened into my VS code editor. So first, I will execute this application into browser. Go inside project terminal. So let's see the level hyphen yt hyphen auth. And Let's start development server. So PHP artisan serve. Press enter. Development server started. So this is our project URL. Right click, open link. Now as we can see, this is our landing page. Now next, I will create a database and connect with this application. So I will go inside my PHP my admin, click on databases. And here let's say level underscore yt underscore auth. Let's copy the database name, click on create button, database created, back to editor, I will open .env file, search for db connection, we are using localhost, so it is ok. In my case, the username is admin and password is admin at the rate 123. Now successfully, this application means this application now connected with this database. Now we will see the concept of authentication integration inside our setup. But before that, what we can do first, I will migrate all the migrations, it means default migrations first inside our database. So I will close our development server, let's say php artisan serve, press enter and not actually php artisan serve, it will be php artisan migrate because we want all the migrations migrated inside our database press enter. So these are the default migrations now migrated inside our database. Now let's start all about the implementation of authentication inside our setup. So here we have few number of steps that we need to follow to integrate the Laravel UI it means authentication inside our setup. So first I will copy this composer command back to project terminal. So here we are using a composer command to install this composer package. Press enter. Now as we can see installation now started and successfully now completed. Now next we need to execute php artisan ui bootstrap and this is all about auth flag. So inside second number steps we are using ui, it's a command, by the help of that we are installing all the scaffold files. It means we are creating login page, registration page, etc. by using bootstrap. So let's copy this command. Back to terminal. I will paste here. Press enter. Now a scaffold file is now created. So here we can see that here we have some warning that please run. This is the first command and here we have the second command. 
inside first command it is telling all about npm install it means that we need to install no dependencies using npm and also by using this npm run tab we need to start the development server of node so instead of executing these two commands into single line what we can do here inside our third number steps let's execute first all about npm install so i will copy go here press enter it will install all about node dependencies so successfully this npm installed 37 packages now in the next step let's start development server of node so npm run dev i will copy go here press enter successfully started but let's stop that now in the next step i will go and run this php artisan migrate command go here pasting it here press enter now we can see that we have one more migration and this migration automatically gets created once we install laravel ui package now successfully this migration also migrated and created a table called password resets so here all the steps now completed if i go here and let's start development server php artisan serve press enter started if i go here let's reload our landing page now successfully as you can see that inside this landing page we have two links called login and register these links are visible because we have installed laravel ui package so i will click on this first link called login now we can see here we have some error that is read manifest not found so to fix these issues what we can do here so first by using npm we need to install two plugins into our setup that is wheat and second level hyphen wheat hyphen plugin so let's copy this complete command go here so we are using npm to install node packages that is these are packages of node called wheat space and this is the second plugin file let's press enter now successfully these are also updated in the next step we need to just confirm that inside our package.json inside our scripts object these values are available or not so i will go inside the setup let's open package.json go inside the scripts object and here inside this object we have two properties called dev and build so successfully this value is just for confirmation means it is available inside package.json if not available just go and add there now next here we need to execute npm run build so once we execute this command automatically it will go and compile the entire application so just copy go here paste here that is npm run build press enter so successfully as you can see that is if it is building or compiling the entire application now completed now let's start development server so php artisan serve development server started if i go here let's go to our landing page reload one more time let's click on login link now successfully as you can see that form is working let's click on register link register form is also working so this is how that how to integrate laravel ui authentication inside our laravel setup now let's do a quick unit testing by registering a user inside the setup so here i'll create our first user let's pick a dummy email value password is from 1 to 8 click on register button so successfully as you can see that our user now registered and automatically logged in into our dashboard page if i go here click on this drop down link log out click on login link and these all the details what we have registered click on login button now successfully as you can see that the functions of login and registration now working so this is how that how to implement or integrate a authentication system inside laravel and what we had seen the concept by using the simplest package of laravel and that is laravel ui in the next video we'll see the concept that is how to actually customize the login form and registration form so please like this video share this video as much as you can 
subscribe to this channel so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day